let us take a look at uh, differences between ICH and WHO that is World Health Organization Stability Guidelines. So ICH has published its guideline about stability study that is stability testing of new drug substances and products and the number of this guideline is Q1AR2 whereas WHO's guideline about stability testing is uh, stability testing of active pharmaceutical ingredients and finished products WHO technical report series number 953-2009 What is the scope of ICH stability guideline? It only covers the new drug substances the DS stands for drug substances and new drug products the dp stands for drug product however who consider both new and existing drug substances and drug product what is the regional scope according to the ich guideline the european countries japan and us is the the scope as per as region is concerned however the who stability guideline applies for the WHO member states. Now what are the climatic zones covered under ICH? It's predominantly zone 1 and zone 2. However, WHO considers all the four zones, zone 1, 2, 3 and 4. What about number of primary batches when it comes to ICH? ICH says that the three primary batches for new drug substances and new drug product. Now in case of WHO, if the product is already existing and found meeting and found to be stable then two, then two primary batches can suffice the requirement otherwise the three primary batches needs to be charged for stability for both drug substances and drug product minimum data at submission time points ICS says that as it is for new drug substances or new drug products, the 6 month of accelerated or 6 month of intermediate is required and 12 month of long term data is necessary. However, in case of WHO, if the existing uh, drug substance or drug product is known to be stable, then the 6 month of accelerated or intermediate and long term data suffice the requirement. Now this is for both uh, drug substance and products. Excursion in storage conditions. So in case if uh, your stability chamber is out of order for some reason, how long it can be out of uh, order? ICH says there is no such guidance. According to the ICH, there is no such guidance provided. However, WHO says that up to 24 hours. So within 24 hours, you need to make the corrective measures <clears throat> and make sure that your stability chambers functioning as expected or in case if it is not, then you can transfer your samples into a, another suitable chamber with the similar condition or the same condition. The next point is the long term condition in case if the drug substance or drug product intended to be stored at room temperature. So according to ICH guideline, you can select either 25 degree Celsius and 60% RH or 30 degree Celsius and 65% RH. However, according to WHO, there are three different long term conditions possible 25, 60, 30, 65 or 30, 75. The accelerated for refrigerator in case if you are intended to store the product at 5 degrees Celsius that is called as a refrigerator condition. So in case of uh, refrigerated products 5 degrees Celsius becomes your long term condition. So what is going to be an accelerated condition for refrigerated products? So according to ICH 25 degrees Celsius and 60% RH. However, according to WHO either 2560 or 3065 or 3075 can be selected as an accelerated condition. So I hope you must have found these uh, differences quite useful. Thank you so much.